So what would you do if the Lego company, yes, the one that makes Legos, suddenly emailed you and said, hey, we want to take your most cherished Minecraft build and recreate it using Lego. What do you think? Well, I'd have to answer, let's do it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be making this video. Throughout my formative years here on YouTube, one project that I held most near and dear to my heart was a project I called the Peaceful Map. Peaceful meaning the game mode that I played the map on, and near and dear to my heart because it is the first Minecraft world that I ever played on. When having to make the choice of what my most cherished Minecraft build was, the choice was obvious. After some careful consideration, the portion of my map that LEGO chose to build was the centerpiece of the map map itself, the house. It's where my first Minecraft memories began, and easily the best choice for this sort of project. The package that LEGO sent me was on a level that I could not have expected. I mean, seriously, look at the size of this thing. As soon as I actually realized what I was getting myself into, I knew that I had to unbox this beast within a video and share that experience with all of you. But first, a message from LEGO. Hey Ant Venom, we love how you've built your huge peaceful map on Minecraft. So much so, we've made a LEGO Minecraft replica of your favorite part, but many of your fans still face destruction and griefing, and that doesn't sound super zen to us. So as the master of peaceful building, we'd love if you could inspire others how to keep calm and build back in real life peaceful mode, creepers not included. Happy building, LEGO, hashtag build back. So at this point, I guess there really isn't a whole lot left to say other than let's just unbox this thing and let's see what Lego has uh, has given me here. So as we open up the box, there is tissue paper, but it's not just any tissue paper. It is tissue paper that has my face and it has the Lego Minecraft logo on it. And there's like quite a few of these that are in here and the whole box is just kind of full of them. So. Let's go ahead and let's just unbox this thing and let's see what they've got inside of here. So the first thing that Lego included in the box is something that I personally really like. And that's a thing called the Crafting Box 2.0. It's basically just a bunch of randomly assorted pieces that you can sort of build whatever you want with. And uh, I remember as a kid, the one thing that I liked about Lego was having that giant bucket of Legos where you could just sort of use your imagination. And one thing I didn't really like for a while was that all that Lego really had for Minecraft was pre-built sets. Now those are awesome and I think those are great, but having a crafting bench or a crafting box of all sorts of different random pieces is definitely pretty awesome here. So we've got a little bag of goodies. It seems like uh, maybe just a couple of miscellaneous pieces that I can include with my piecel map set or maybe just pieces in general. So the other three items that are included in the box here is a big figurine of Minecraft Steve. So that's pretty cool. We've got a big figurine of Minecraft Alex, which is super awesome as well. And then I think we've got a big figurine of the skeleton as well. And it actually has what looks like a real bow that can fire real projectiles here. So that's pretty cool. But the main event that I know that you guys are definitely here for is to see my peaceful map rebuilt with Lego. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this sucker out of the box here. Like, wow, this is honestly pretty cool. If you take a look at what my piecel map looks like from this exact angle, I would say that LEGO pretty much nailed it here. And not only do they have the build that is on the outside here where you can see, you know, clear blocks for the glass and whatnot, but they've actually built everything on the inside as well. Yeah, you can kind of get an angle when you're looking at it right here that there is a lot that's going on underneath the house. It's actually much easier to see looking into the house in person that there's a whole bunch that's going on in there. So. Yeah, this is my peaceful map house rebuilt with Lego. This is, I don't even, like, I don't really know what to say in this moment other than, like, seeing it built in real life is just, it's astonishing, honestly. And, yeah, I want to thank Lego for sending me this, for just sort of approaching me with the opportunity to be involved with their project, like, at all. Honestly, guys, thank you. 
Hang on, we're not done yet. There is one more thing. At MineCon 2013, I was given a little Ant Venom figurine as a gift from a fan, and it just so happens that this is a hand-painted Lego figurine. So I guess at long last, he finally has a home of his very own. So yeah, this video was not sponsored by Lego. However, they did provide what they sent me for free, which I'm very thankful for. If you guys enjoyed this Build Back Lego video, feel free to let me know in the comments section down below. But anyways guys, that just about does it for me for now. If you guys enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like on it, because it would really help out myself, the channel, and the video quite a lot. So I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Ant Venom, and I bid you all farewell. Thanks so much for watching.